Development of F1 Mapping Population in Switchgrass Switchgrass is a perennial warm season grass native to North America. It is used primarily for soil cultivation, forage production as an ornamental grass and more recently as a biomass crop for ethanol and butanol production. Switchgrass is predominantly a cross-pollinated species that is gametophytic self-incompatible. A small percentage of self-pollination can sometimes occur. Open pollination of switchgrass is aided by wind blow. Switchgrass flower consists of branch inflorescence that bears a lot of seeds. To develop F1 population, the chosen parents, which have opposite characters or traits, can be placed together in a greenhouse and let the greenhouse fan to help in the pollination. It is important to ensure that no other flowering switchgrass is present in a greenhouse. Here, a non-dormant lowland genotype is being crossed to the winter dormant lowland genotype. Seeds can be collected once they are matured. To ensure that the progenies are hybrids and not self-progenies, screenings are done using SSR markers. DNA polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis The first step in DNA polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis is assembling the apparatus. Here you can see a blue tube called gasket is wrapped around the first glass slide. Gasket is neatly applied on the glass edge. This step is important to ensure that the gel solution that will be poured later will not leak. After that, spacers are placed at glass sides and its bottom. A notch glass slide that has a space for a comb is then carefully placed on top of the first glass. White clamps are used to attach these two glasses together. Then, the glasses are made to stand and two more clamps are attached on each side. You can see that comb can be placed at the top of this assembly. The main chemicals used in pitch is acrylamide, bisacrylamide, ammonium persulfate, TMET and 5 times TBE buffer. In this step, the gel solution is poured or pipetted into the glass slide. After letting the gel set for 45 minutes, the gasket and bottom spacer are pulled out from the glass light. The glass light is then placed against the top reservoir of the vertical gel apparatus, and bar clamp is used to properly secure the glass light against the top reservoir so that no buffer will leak later. One times TBE buffer is poured into the top reservoir just enough until it covers the page gel. In this step, loading dye is mixed into each well of PCR products. Before loading the sample, it is really important to take out all bubbles present in the gel well. This is done by using a syringe to inject a necessary amount of one times CBE buffer so that bubbles will float out. 20 microliter of PCR product is filled in each well. The electrophoresis condition is set to 180 volts, 326 milliampere, and run for 2 hours. After running the electrophoresis for 2 hours, the gel is now ready to be stained. The first step in staining is to immerse the gel in cool fixation solution for 5 minutes. After that, the gel is dipped in the impregnation solution for 3 minutes, then washed with distilled water, and finally immersed into staining solution until bends are visible. The bends on the gel can finally be assessed where hybrid progenies should contain both bends coming from each parents.